Hey, I'm Matt Body from Naked Security, and this week on the podcast and on the website, I've been sharing a story about how my Instagram account got hacked. So we've had lots of people that have got in contact with us and told us that similar stuff has happened to them where they think their account has been compromised in some way. So we wanted to share with you a story about how you can stay safe from this in the future and not be compromised yourself. A quick recap for those of you that haven't read the article. In 2012, when Instagram first was launched on Android phones, I signed up to an account and I took a picture of my laptop uploaded that to Instagram just to test out and see what the hype was all about. I deleted the app and then I got back to it in 2015. I realized that I was following loads and loads and loads of accounts, thousands of accounts that I wasn't aware of. I think that what happened to my account was that somebody had managed to guess my password. I'd used the same password on many, many, many different websites. And that's really bad security practice. So that's something that I definitely shouldn't have done. There were many data breaches between 2012 and 2015, including the likes of LinkedIn and Target in the US. That means that if that password and username was disclosed in one of those data breaches, it means that someone could do something that's called credential stuffing to try and use that username and password on other accounts. So if you are no longer using some sort of app, then make sure that you don't just delete the app off of your phone. Make sure that you completely delete your account with that organization. Therefore, if somebody tries to sign into your, your account in the future, they're not gonna be able to because your account doesn't exist. So we've got a comment from the Drugs of War that has said, every week or so, I get an email from Instagram about me having trouble logging into my account. Not sure why someone wants to get into my account so much. I think I've posted a grand total of one picture and I look at the app maybe one to two times a month. This sounds as though somebody's trying to log into this person's account. They're trying to consistently password stuff or, or, or credential stuff a username and password they've found somewhere online to try and attempt to log into this account that exists. Therefore, because there's a t active attempt going up on your account, just to be doubly sure that they not, they're not logging into your account, I'd really recommend setting up two-factor authentication so that you have that second line of defense if they do manage to get like, past the first line. We've then got another comment on Facebook from Peter saying that the trouble is when I read set up 2FA, I see give us your personal phone number. Yeah, right. So that's a good point, Peter. Um, sometimes they do recommend giving your personal phone number to set up 2FA, but specifically talking about Instagram, there is a second option. So you can use Google Authentication app or another authentication app using the same sort of service to generate a one-time code so that when you log into Instagram, it also asks for that one-time code that you can just tap in that isn't sent to you via SMS, meaning that you don't need to give away your personal phone number. So if you've had any adverse experiences with any social media service or any other account being taken over by a cyber criminal or crook, then please let us know by commenting below. And thanks very much for watching this. I hope this has been helpful.